I'm Vicki Colvin. I'm the Vice Provost for Research at Rice University. What are you um, taking away from this morning's sessions? What's, what's been of interest to you? Well, I think what's most of interest is that I, it's been recognized for a while. I think that we want to do international partnerships in the U.S., and we want to do that all across the world with a lot of different countries. But there's a more, more of an institutional and I think a government awareness of the importance of that to the future of higher education. It's no longer just about the isolated faculty member and how you can do your research better. It's about we're going to have to do this to survive. And there's much more of a feeling of a mandate and a sense of urgency in building those relationships. So this has been a really useful place to learn about what are the motivations on the UK side and what is the future of the UK higher education system and how might that dovetail and sort of resonate with some of the changes in the US. How important is this UK-US relationship? Well, it's actually pretty important. Um, I think that when you look at international collaborations, this may be a, a sort of side point, but the reality is I can send my students to the UK and not worry about language issues and vice versa. So one of the biggest barriers to international collaborations with students involved has been how do you train them in the language. And since I'm a scientist, my students often have many other kinds of classes to take, maybe not great in language. So the UK offers a place to find collaborators and I can send a student and know while that could be a different culture, they can at least communicate effectively there. So that's actually one of the reasons I think that the US-UK is a natural affinity in science and engineering. But I think for more broadly, our two governments have actually partnered much more effectively than others in creating actually funded programs for us to partner. And so there's more opportunities to work with the UK scientists in a formal way than I might find with other countries. And so that's, I think, been my other focus on why I orient towards England. And finally, some of the people we've talked to today have talked about a reticence for UK students and US students to study abroad. How do you think you can come over that, get over that problem? Well, I think you need to help students understand what their future is going to look like. Um, the reality is in most marketplaces, if they're going to go into industry, those industries are operating in multiple countries and the value of an international experience actually puts them ahead of competitors for, the, for some of the best jobs. And if they want to go into academics, it's part of the fabric of, of doing academic research is to understand the international uh, environment. And so I think part of it is just you know, students may be very insular and you need to teach them what their opportunities are and how those opportunities are no longer just defined by their local or national viewpoint.